is up everybody welcome back to 10 tense car reviews today i am so stoked i'm out in laguna seca in northern california to drive the hyundai veloster n in the dct on track at weathertech raceway so i flew into san jose airport last night copped a miata off turo drove about 80 miles out to monterey where i spent the night what a car what a time Here's a video of the little Miata that could, making its way up Laguna Seca. Just to be clear, this is not the track, it's just the entryway up the mountain to the track, but I thought I'd show it anyway because it's per. In this video, I'll show you a POV driving on track, give you a tour of their end cars, and go into the recall. This is like a promotional event geared toward rewarding previous purchasers of Hyundai end products and hyping up the new effort that they're putting into their performance division. They're actually making some thrilling cars and they're working hard to undo the sedate Hyundai stigma. I mean, these end cars have some serious performance chops. I mean, they have a lot going for them. They have a ton of horsepower for their segment, electronic LSDs, a snappy dual clutch, or they offer manual, grippy tires, and they sound pretty good. So don't be sleeping on them, they're decent on track. So they invited Hyundai N owners to drive some Veloster Ns across WeatherTech Raceway solo dolo with no one in the car. They repeatedly stated that their end products can go straight from the dealership to the track, completely stock without any modifications necessary. Now, full disclosure, I do not own any Hyundai products, but I asked if I could come out for it, and they kindly opened up a spot. I mean, come on, a free chance to go on the corkscrew at Laguna Seca in a fun car? That is a no-brainer. Also, I spread a lot of the driving out over the course of this video to alleviate some of the boring parts. But aside from the beautiful canyons, I mean, just look at these views. It's straight up gorgeous. I can't believe that there's a racetrack up here. It's just nuts. So I parked the Miata for a second to look at the track. I didn't really know what to expect because this was my first track experience, but I actually saw the Velosters whooshing past me, which got me so excited knowing that I was soon going to be driving one that fast. All right, so I pulled up over here for this pretty mountain shot and up rolls this guy in his own Veloster and DCT. I was still getting the lay of the land, so I totally thought he was one of the hosts of the Hyundai experience, but it turns out he's also here to partake and just happens to own one. His name is Jason. He's like the nicest guy ever. Literally within five minutes, he was like, yo, want to drive my car? And I'm like, yeah. This is like unheard of. Usually at car meets, you ask to take someone's car out for a ride and they look at you like you're insane. But I was asking him if it's cool if I take pics and he's like, dude, you can drive it. So we ripped it around the back canyons for a while and it got me so hyped for the track day ahead of us. Again, total stranger. Thank you, Jason. It's gorgeous, man. The, the Miata was my only car until... Well, you're out here, so you have no problem doing that <laughs> year round, right? I, also my first track experience, so hopefully that's... You haven't done it yet? Not yet. This is my first too. Can I get the inside of it? You really? Uh, Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> I don't see the point of changing much, honestly, right? You got the light up seats? I just I peeled off some, you know, those vinyls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, still a few pieces that still have those stickers on because. That's, like, that's how I would live. It's got like 3,000 miles. Oh my god, it's a great car. Are you happy with it? It's a. Uh, I. I, I I got it for DCT, honestly. I feel that. So this is my first uh, experience inside the Veloster N. I met Jason over here. He's a homie. He's going my guy. Nice. And he said I could uh, take this for a little spin with him. Okay, so N button puts you into the most aggressive everything. Yep. And as you were saying. You're actually now in custom because okay. we pressed the N button twice. So now we're back to and N. Now we're back, back to N. And what N button looks like is probably like this. So everything is maxed out on end button. And then do you have your exhaust sound like personally maxed yep. out as well? And so this so this is actually where I set the custom version, mm -hmm. which is what you get a second time. Perfect. And I like to usually drive with like normal suspension mm -hmm. because it's in the street. Engine fine, ELSD fine. Is there a big difference that you can really like personally notice from like the levels of the suspension, like from stiff to comfort? I would say so, but mostly because the car is so stiff to begin with. Okay. I'm looking for that even little bit of, like, you know, some forgiveness. Yeah. And I think I do feel that a lot. It's and steering too, like it's very heavy. Goes from heavy, very like tight to very heavy. Up. Yeah, um, I can I can feel that immediately. You know, ESC, I think it just means off when it's at max. It's like traction control. Yeah, stuff, but right? I'm gonna leave it on sport. Okay. And then exhaust max, that's all good. Yeah, yeah, can I rev it? Of course. So you put you want to put on neutral. Okay. And then this one, let's see if the, you know, now, now, so if the end mode and the custom mode should sound similar. Yes. Based on this. So Just because you have it calibrated the same yeah. for that, right? right. Floor it. Floor all the way. Oh, baby. That's a stop pop. That's beautiful. Yeah, I, I, wow. I kind of like that. Me too. <laughs> Going down the hill, 
And as you come into turn two, if you're coming too fast and you don't use enough brake, you're going to experience what we call in road racing understeer. Uh, we've got, uh, gosh, what, what can I say about these guys? Well, I'll get to, I'll get to the first one. He's a very famous driver in his own right. Uh, he's won uh, a couple of races around the world, and he's driven around this track in particular in one of the fastest cars on the planet, an Indy car, and uh, actually raced the Indy 500 years ago. He's now retired. A whole sitter on the Indy. Yes, that's true. I forgot. I apologize. Mr. Roberto Guerrero. Woo! I can feel it. This is the one. This is the one? This is the one. Alright, send it, brother. Not yet, whoa! Right. Sorry, you should I, send it, brother. I shouldn't have sent You're totally it. fine, bro. <laughs> we just gotta wait so we can get you on the timing. No, you Gucci. <laughs> That's funny. Liability. I did that once earlier, too. It's just in my vocabulary. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, go! So over here are the Elantras where we were driven by pro racing drivers and behind it are the Velosters that we drove ourselves, which was so fun.
So that's all the Veloster stuff. So now switching over to the Elantra NDCT, which is essentially the same thing, but a little bit updated interior, and it's a sedan and not a hatchback. So practical. <laughs> Over here at Laguna Seca for the N Performance Academy event. Sitting here in the Elantra N, they have it here on demo. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. This is the DCT because it has the sunshade. I doubt that this turns on, it does not. Smart key, not here. Absolutely sick. So the exterior of this car is pretty uh, polarizing to say the least, but the point of this car is that it's super fun to drive. Yesterday, and save today. Eat. Damn. Because we take every single person through, so. It's worth the while, though. Yeah. Damn, this really holds. Yeah, it's on the PS4s? Yeah. Shit. Dude, it's a blast. Do you, you have one of your own? I do. You do? Yeah. All right, so question for you. That a boy. That was your question. Yeah, so, uh, like, obviously, like, Hyundai's have had, like, issues, like, with this engine, just, like, in a different car, like, catching fire and stuff. Really? You worry about that? You don't know about it? Uh, not at all. I so, mean, like, like, you know, everything has different circumstances, but, yeah. Never worried about it. I've driven hundreds of these things, so. Okay, now let's talk about the Elantra N for a hot sec. Not all, but most dealerships in the U.S. right now have price markups and long lead times due to supply chain constraint. That's been the case for a while, so nothing new there. But now there's a few recalls on the Hyundai Elantra N, and I'm not talking about the Theta 2 engine. Specifically, the recall applies to a... Well, I'm not really sure if I can legally say this, but all of the articles are saying exploding seatbelt design. They might have a solution, but at the time of recording this video, they hadn't publicly stated what the cause was. The point is that no one can take delivery until they figure it out, whether the car has arrived at the dealership or not, and that's a federal law. I do not know how long this might take. For the record, most auto manufacturers have recalls. It happens. It's just that Hyundai has had some questionable ones, and the timing sucks considering shortages. 
There are rumors that they're sitting on an unveiled engine, but they recently shut down their engine division and reassigned the engineers to work on EVs. As you can see, I peeped some Reddit threads and found some not-so-happy campers that had previously ordered. One of them posted a link to the Hyundai recall, which I'll show here. That was my weekend with the Veloster N and Elantra N on track at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. Thanks for joining me on this epic adventure. More videos on the way and I'll continue to do my best to give you the best car advice I possibly can. Thanks so much. Got that free swag though. As you can see, I had a pretty good time nerding out and it was an awesome weekend. Thank you to Hyundai for hosting this event and thank you to everyone I met along the way. Join me next time on 10 Tenths Car Reviews.